Okay, so now in this segment, let's take a look at how I would cast this veil of level one over all paid access to my site. So every member, regardless of how much they're paying, or on what terms they're paying me, or on what permissions or custom capability set they have, they will always be at a level one role for S2 member. Okay, now I could still use level two, three, and four if I wanted to, but at this point, I would consider these to be extra levels. Okay? Now let's take a look at how we would accomplish this using one button generator. Okay, let's start by adding a package for $169. And I'll charge that on a monthly basis, recurring for ongoing access. And in this first example, we won't include any custom capabilities. So this will just be default level one access to the site. I would click generate button code and then I would copy my short code. Now I could even take this description attribute and change this to something like basic level one access. I can change this out manually if you if you like if you'd like to do that. You can that's fine to do that. Okay now let's do another example. I could now create another button also at level one and this time I would I would charge them more but I would allow them to pay me one time and that would provide lifetime access, non-recurring. Okay, so they're paying a lot more, but they're getting lifetime access. And in this case, again, I won't offer any custom capabilities okay, in this example. So here we've just seen that I can create two different PayPal buttons, both under level one, charging two different prices with two different types of billing terms. Okay, and I haven't even used custom capabilities yet. Okay, now this is where it gets very interesting. Let's say I wanted to offer a third option and charge $1,495 for a one-time lifetime access fee. And with that, I would offer access to two additional sections of my site. And I would decide to throw in a free gift. Now, how did I come up with music, videos, and free gift? Where did these terms come from? I just made them up. Okay, that's all there is to it. These are just trigger words. Okay, so normally these words that you that you use as custom capabilities will be directly associated with a content section on your site or perhaps with a specific feature that you're offering. Okay, but you just make these up. Okay, and, and we're going to come to uh, how you would integrate these custom capability terms that you're adding here into your site in just a few moments. But for right now, I just want to show you that adding custom capabilities is this simple. You just comma delimit them and you can just make up terms, whichever you prefer, that describe the features or the capabilities that you're going to package together. Okay, now let's do another example. So in this case, I'm going to charge $249 and I'll offer this on with quarterly billing. Okay, and in this case, I will throw in access to tutorials and PDF files. Now I might do another option at 129 a month that would only include tutorials and PDFs. Okay, so you can see how you can you can literally create an infinite number of packages all with different prices, different billing terms, with different sets of features that would come with each package. And I have done all of this under the veil of level one. So my members don't care what level number they're assigned to in the back end. Okay, all they care is how much they're paying and what they're going to have access to. So this works beautifully. And this will keep your site optimized and it will allow you to have a lot more flexibility in terms of the prices that you're charging and how many different packages and specials and offers you can offer now and in the future. Okay, now I'm sure that you're wondering, how do I take these, these terms that I just make up, how do I take these and actually apply them so that these sections that I'm talking about here in this field are actually protected? Or how do I grant access to these, to these custom capabilities when I apply them here 
and a, and a customer checks out using one of these buttons? Right, so that's an excellent question, and in order to answer that, we're going to skip back over here to this previous tab and look again at the Custom Capability Packages section under API Scripting. And we will see that S2 Member provides some examples of PHP conditionals. Okay, that's what this code sample here is. There's some additional ones down here, but we're just going to look at this first example right now. We're using a PHP code tag. I can put in a conditional that checks to see if the user is logged in and if the current user can access S2 member level 1. So here is where I would display some content for all level 1 members. And now I can come down and I can check if the current user can also access the S2 member custom capability. That's what CCAP stands for. Music. So this is where those trigger words that I used in my custom capability field are applied. You're testing to see if the current user can access a certain custom capability. And if they checked out with a PayPal button that included that capability, then they will have access to that capability. Now, you're probably also wondering, okay, well, I see how that works, but that's going to become monotonous because I'll have to do this in every single post or page, or I may lose access to my visual editor because I would have to integrate PHP code snippets all the time. Okay, so ideally this is not, this. although this example is intended to go into a post or a page, or maybe into a custom theme file for your, a custom page template for your WordPress theme, we want to find a way to implement this directly into either our theme or into S2 member so that we don't continue to have to come back in all the time for every single post or page that we create and, and wrap things inside these conditionals all the time. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that as well. It's actually very simple. I'm going to open up another window here with my code editor. And what I have here is the functions.php file from my WordPress theme. Now this happens to be the 2010 default theme for WordPress 3.0. Now every theme has a functions.php file. So no matter what theme you're using, you will have a file called functions.php. And all I've done here in this example is I just came up to the top, and this code could go anywhere in your functions file. But I've just done it here at the top to make it simple. Okay? And I added this custom code section. And actually this is just a comment. And this first line, it adds an action to WordPress. Now this template redirect hook, this is an action hook, this fires every single time a page on your site is viewed. So if you add a line just like this one, and then you fill in right here the name of a custom function that you create, and in this case I just named it My Custom Capabilities, just for clarity, all I have to do then is define that function, which is what I've done here. So everything inside of these curly brackets, which is right here, will fire every time a page is loaded right before the template for that page is displayed. So that is the perfect time to run some last minute conditionals to make sure that the current user has access to the page that they're attempting to see. Okay? So all we're doing here is we're adding some conditionals in that fire every time the page is loaded. And this is perfect. This is exactly what we need to do. Because this will now consolidate all of these current user can conditionals into my theme and I won't have to integrate them into each post or each page and I have the flexibility here to do all sorts of things and get very creative. Now this is just a very basic example and in this case this conditional is saying if the current page or the current post has the tag music, okay so if I create a page and I give it the tag music then that would be true. So if this tag has music, or if this, if this page or post has the tag music, and the current user cannot, that's what that uh, exclamation point in front of the current user can function means. It means the current user cannot access S2 member's custom capability, music, which is, this is that trigger word that I had originally typed into the, to the PayPal button custom capabilities field, if the current user cannot access this custom capability, then I need to redirect that visitor to the S2 member membership options page. 
Okay, and this is what we refer to as an S2 member API constant. Okay, so you don't even have to hard code that in. You can just put in this constant, and this, these two lines will automatically redirect that customer or that visitor that's in the public to your membership options page. So that's, that's perfect. That's exactly what we need. So now we have just integrated this custom capability right into our theme without having to modify S2 member source code. And we can do this on an infinite level. Okay, we can do the same thing for any of the custom capabilities, any of those trigger words that we had just used in the PayPal button generator. So if this one, if we have no issue with this one, in other words, if this is either, if the current page either does not have the tag music, or the current user, it is the tag music, but the current user has access to the music, then there's no issue here. So in that case, we come down here and we do else if. So we do another check and we say, okay, well, if this is the category videos, okay, and the current user cannot, that's what this leading exclamation point means, that this is false, the current user cannot access the S2 member custom capability videos, then again, we should redirect that visitor to the membership options page. Okay, now you don't have to use categories, you don't have to use tags. Okay, you can extend this in a variety of ways. In this example, we are assuming that the slug for the category videos is, is actually called videos. So you might have to change this a little bit in this example in order to match what you have on your website or what you decide to use. And in this case, I could do something a little different with tags, or I could use pages. And so I'm going to open up another window here to show you. If we go over to the WordPress codex, Okay, if you go to WordPress.org and you go to the Docs tab, you can search the codex for conditional tags. And it'll pull up this codex page. This is an article written about all of the tags that we consider conditional tags in, inside the WordPress framework. And this is a very useful article because it's going to show you all of these conditional tags that are built in already to WordPress. So is single, okay, when any single post or page or attachment, okay, so I could say is single, and then I could give an ID for the post or page ID, or I could use the title or the slug, or I could pass in an array, so I could check multiple values all at once, and this is showing you that you could use an array with a mixture of an ID or a slug. So there's all these different ways that you can use these conditionals in order to make things work exactly the way you need them to work on your installation of WordPress. Okay, and you'll we'll scroll right down here and we'll see here is the is category. Okay, and there's this, you can apply it with the slug or it could have been an ID. And here we have is tag and has tag. Okay, so you can also use an array of tags where you can check multiple tags all at one time. So this is perfect. This is exactly what we need. So with this this, this is just a few lines of code. So with just this few lines of code, we have now integrated our theme with the S2 member framework and extended it to support an unlimited number of custom capabilities, all under the veil of level one. Okay? So now in the next section of this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what's coming in the future in terms of how we might integrate, how we're considering how we might integrate the concept of custom capabilities into S2 members general options panel. Okay, so that's coming right up in the next section.